So let's look at formation of ions. Formation formation of ions. And I've already so we will take the formation of ions here. Atoms we've learned about the configuration that 2, 8, this 2, 8, 1, and all that. We have actually used the configuration to establish that some atoms are stable and others are not. We saw that neon is 2, 8. Neon is stable. According to the octet rule, we said that 2, 8, 8 for argon. Argon is stable. Now, when you look at sodium and then the red, they are not stable. So, this atoms that are not stable would have to come together and become compounds and through that there will be exchange of ions called electrons so if you take ion when an, an ion is basically a charged particle an electrically charged particle if it is plus it is minus it's electrically charged so here you'll be seeing plus and minuses on atoms so an atom is an electrically charged particle here plus and then minus now pay attention when an atom loses electrons it becomes a positively charged atom clear when an atom loses electrons it becomes a positively charged atom and we call that cation cation on the other hand when an atom gains electrons it becomes negatively charged and we call that anion anion so cations plus anions minus so let's illustrate this with sodium sodium is na of course sodium is the 11th element so 11 the configuration for sodium is 2, 8, 1. Sodium is not stable because of this one. So sodium would have to give this one out to any available element that is also looking for one to be stable. So if you come here, sodium is a neutral atom, no charge. Now immediately sodium gives the one out. So let's have our chlorine here like this. Chlorine is 2, 8, 7. Chlorine is also looking for 1. We are looking at formation of ions. Chlorine is also looking for 1. You get it? So, and this one here is making this one unstable. So, if this one is making this one unstable, why don't I give it out to somebody so that I become stable? You have something. Oh, I how? Famobi, give it to somebody. So, sodium will give 1 to chlorine and once it gives the one out the number there's a new configuration it is now two eight now this i've always told you that the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons in a neutral atom so like this place the number of protons is 11 the number of electrons is 11. now it has given away one electron so and i told you that the protons are in the nucleus. So the proton, nothing happens. It is not, you can't lose protons. You lose electrons. So here, the electrons here, one is gone. So the new one, we have 11 protons. And how many electrons? One, two, 10 electrons. 10 electrons. And this is one. Let's say plus one. So this brings us to what we call the cation that when you lose an atom when you lose electron you become a positively charged atom so here it's lost plus one so this is the cation i think it's clear that that is this is the meaning of the plus we have here that protons are now more than electrons so if you if you if you if you find the difference you are getting one so and that is the electrons sodium loss now let's come to chlorine chlorine now has a new electron added to the seventh one so here is 
2.88. Chlorine is stable. Let's look at something here. Now, the, the, the first one, then when it was a neutral atom without a plus, I said the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So, now there's a new configuration. It has accepted another electron. The proton is always the same. So, the, the proton used to be 17. Now, the electron has changed. The electron is 10 plus 8. That's 18. And when you, when you subtract, you are getting a negative. A negative and this negative will be here as cl minus just as i said when an atom excuse me loses and let so it gains it becomes negatively charged called anion that's what is happening this is the meaning because the number of protons have been outnumbered by the number of electrons when it gained because it should be 17 17 but or j back will count from chlorine i'm on 17 18 so once you subtract you are getting a negative here, and that will be the charge. So now you have a sodium plus Cl minus. This is the cation, this is the anion. They will come together and become sodium chloride. And this is how compounds are formed. Compounds are formed because the individual atoms are not stable. So they need to um, share or exchange electrons for them to achieve stability. So this is sodium, that's a cation, and this is aluminum. That's, sorry, this is chlorine, that's an anion. When they come together, they form sodium chloride with 28 and 288, stable. Now this one here looks like neon. That's a stable configuration, and 288 looks like argon. So we can, we can take another example, let's take, and something like let's take something like still on formation of iron let's take calcium and chlorine now the configuration of calcium is the number is 20 so 2 8 8 2 according to the octet rule chlorine is 2 8 7 now let's look at what happens. This two is making calcium unstable, and this one is also looking for one to be stable, right? So for um for um, for this to actually form a compound with this, that's they need to actually form ions. So we are going to get um this one will give two out to whichever atoms available so you have chlorine it means that there should be another chlorine atom to pick the excess electron from calcium so we have another chlorine atom like this c two eight seven this way so once one goes here and then the other one goes here calcium gives positive cation it gives two electrons and that is then the new configuration is two eight eight guess what when it was a neutral atom it was 20 electrons 20 protons now it has given two out i become a charged atom now the number of electrons have reduced by two so here the new one is 20 protons minus 20 so 18, 18 electrons, and this will give me two. That's plus two. So this is why calcium is plus two. It has lost two electrons. Think it's clear? Then when you come to chlorine, chlorine was set two, two chlorines. One was set one, the other. So here you have two, eight, eight stable. Two, eight, eight chlorine. You know? So you are having. Ca2 plus that's calcium ah I S stable now we are forming and we'll give it to you in a chlorine we can represent this by one the cost of the charge it will, it will interchange so you have or exchange you are getting C A because for one of this for this one to balance this is two and this is one 
for this and this to balance we need another one of the that's like a c l minus so here will be two and this also will be c a c l two or whilst it's here as c a two plus and c l minus as the chloride ion you just interchange so you haven't the one will come here but we don't try the one so we have it as c a c l that two not bad then c l two we will come to this when you get to chemical compound but this is just an insight into it so this is basically ions and we have so many of them we have cations and anions cations and anions cations and anions when you lose you become plus that's a cation when you gain it becomes minus that's a, an anion so when an atom gains electrons anion when an atom gains loses electrons cation i think it's clear with this in mind let us continue to look at valency in the next one